I have heard that the New Plymouth City Council has voted for the establishment of a Maori ward and that the vote was near unanimous. This even after, if I remember correctly, some 83% of voters voted against separate seats for the Maori electorate when this very concept was tried out only a few years ago. I trust that the residents in New Plymouth will again require another people's vote on this issue. The council proceeded with the establishment of the Maori ward without any consultation with the electorate. Are they there to represent the wishes of the electorate or just to further their own aims? The Treaty of Waitangi did not grant any form of partnership between the Crown and Maori. What was granted was equal citizenship of all the peoples in New Zealand and not some Orwellian form of equality where some are more equal than others. Any special privilege being granted to one section of the population and this being based on an accident of birth is pure racism. The idea that all people be treated equally cannot in any way be considered racist, although I am sure I will be labelled as such because of the views I am currently expressing. The whole idea that a section of the population of New Zealand that has some connection to the original colonisers of this country should be treated in some differing way to the rest of us Kiwis is repugnant to me. First, I have very grave doubts that there are any full-blooded Māori in New Zealand and therefore all the proponents of this separatism are in effect denying part of their own ancestry. My heritage is Scots and Irish but I am at least a second generation Kiwi and all my loyalties lie with this magnificent little country. This matter leads me to the question of the Māori seats in Parliament. I believe that they have well and truly passed their use-by date. They were originally created as a temporary measure. Electors needed to be owners of land and with the Māori communal system of land ownership at the time, Māori did not qualify, hence the Māori role. When our system of electing Parliament moved to universal male and then later to include female suffrage, the need for the seats was lost. On top of this, the Electoral Commission, when it considered MMP, recommended the removal of the Māori seats as it would lead to an over-representation of the Māori vote in Parliament. And so it has proven to be the case. On top of this, it could be considered patronising to suggest that Māori need some form of special assistance to get elected. Once again, this myth is not borne out by the facts. Anybody from any background, if they work hard and win the confidence of the electorate, can get into Parliament. Winston Peters is an obvious example. A person with Māori ancestry who gets elected off the general roll. No special privileges needed. So back to the original topic, citizens of New Plymouth, demand a vote on the Māori ward and have your say. Finally, if you would like to hear more from me in this electoral season, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.